Right, great tens, welcome to today's video where we're talking about map scale. Now, as we know by now, there are two kinds of scales that we have. And that's the number scale when we look at a map or the bar scale. So let's look at the first one, our number scale. Now, a number scale is expressed as a ratio, like 1 to 50. And this simply means that one unit on the map, that's where our 1 comes from, one unit on the map represents 50 units on the ground, or in other words, 50 units in real life. So, if I measure on my map and I measure one centimeter, that one centimeter will then represent 50 centimeters in the real world or on the ground. Or if I measure one meter on the map, that will represent 50 meters on the ground. Okay, so that's our number scale. And as we say, that's going to be expressed as a ratio. Then we have our bar scale. Now with the bar scale, you can see it's completely different to our ratio. Here we have segments um, and each piece or segment of the bar represents a given distance. So you can see the first segment represents 10 meters and then the next section another 10 meters. So to use a bar scale, you need to measure how long one segment of the bar is on your ruler. You are then going to measure the distance on the map in centimeters. Calculate how many segments of the bar that that works out to be. So in other words, you're taking the total distance measured and you're going to divide that by the length of one segment. Then once we've got that answer, we will multiply it by the scale. So as an example, if one centimeter on the bar represents 10 meters on the ground, in other words, that, that, that one segment there, zero to 10, that's going to represent one centimeter. Okay. So if I measure one centimeter on my map, according to this, it will be 10 meters on the ground. And I do measure some other distance and I measure around three centimeters. That means I'm going to take my three centimeters. I'm going to divide it by the one centimeter, which is the length of my segment. And that means I'm going to have three segments. This then means that the real distance on the ground, because I'm going to take those three segments. How much is each, each segment on the bar scale? 10 meters. And I'm going to multiply that by the 10 meters. And that's how I get to 30 meters. Let's take another example. You are given a map with a number scale of 1 is to 40. You measure a length on the map of 10 centimeters. What is the distance in real life? Have a look at the answer. We've got our scale, 1 is to 40. We've measured 10 centimeters. So we've got to take our distance on the map. We are then going to multiply that by our scale, which is 40. And that's going to give us 400 centimeters. We then convert that. Um, into meters and that's how we get to our answer of four meters. Let's have a look at one more. You are given a map with the number scale of one is to 500. If you measure a length on a map of 15 centimeters, what is the distance in real life? So again, we take our scale, one is to 500. We've measured 15 centimeters on the map and we're going to multiply that by the 500. That's going to give us 7,500 centimeters. And we then convert that to meters to a real life distance of 75 meters. Okay, so that's it for our map scale. 